Hello, Mark here, gardening up here in Wisconsin. Uh, I'd like to do a review on something I tried out this year, something new I haven't tried before, on my tomatoes and a couple other plants. It's this is uh, red plastic mulch. It's four feet wide, and you can get this in various lengths. This one here was 50 feet long. Uh, the reason it's red is it reflects the red light, and uh, it's good for photosynthesis. Plants really like red light, and it's supposed to make them grow better. And as we shall see, it, it did. The thing, it does have some weed suppression. Pretty good weed suppression for me so far. The light does shine through it, but not, a, not as bad as like a clear plastic would be. And the results, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I tried it out. This here I bought from uh, Gardens Alive. It's, a, it's four feet wide. Uh, this was a 50 foot piece of stuff. I thought I'd just try it out. It was, I think, $19.95 plus shipping. Uh, one thing about Gardens Alive, if you buy anything from them, make sure you get their coupons. I think they're a little bit overpriced. Uh, usually it's uh, get a coupon, you buy $50, get $25 off, buy $50 or $100, get $50 off, etc. So, anyway, if you check that out, I'll put a link down there uh, where you can get this. You can also get it on Amazon. And if you just click my Amazon link up in my heading there or someplace. Uh, I'd appreciate that if you buy it through them. I think, I think I get a little bit of a kickback, but it's not much. I'm not getting rich on any of this stuff. So we're gonna look at the tomato plants and uh, check this out. So anyway, here's the stuff in action. Got it laid out here. Got two strips of it. Tomato plants are looking really good. Um, see if you can see that. They're really healthy. Hardly any disease on them. My uh, sun gold cherry there, that's got a little bit down there. Usually by this time, some of these plants are starting to really get uh, kind of shabby looking. Especially the, the Roma. Here's Martino's Roma. Roma's, a lot of times, they get pretty ratty looking by the end of uh, the summer. That one's looking really healthy yet, getting a lot of tomatoes on. I got 11 of them planted here. And I got a. Uh, this one here in the front is Amish paste. That's a really nice Roma sized type tomato. Not quite as big as they grew last year, but they're doing really well. Uh, the next one we got growing here is this is a really good cherry tomato. This is. Um, Sun gold, and it really tasty, nice and sweet. I notice with this plastic mulch too, there isn't quite as much splitting on the cherry tomatoes. They don't get that overabundance of water when it rains real heavy. This next one here is uh, Rutgers. It gets a nice sized tomato on it. Plant isn't looking real big, but uh, it's doing all right. Uh, here's my Martino's Roma. I grow the Martinos because they are a little more resistant to disease than your regular Romas. But uh, this, this plant is just doing great. Normally by this time of the year these Romas would be losing most of their leaves and just be looking terrible. But this one's looking really good. The other good, another good, really good tomato, if you like uh, orange tomatoes, is this here one. This is Moon Glow. And, um, this is a really nice tomato. It's orange, obviously, and it's uh, got good flavor. So I'd recommend that one if you want to try something new. Over on this side here, I got my big zacks again, and they are not doing too well. There's a couple here. Two of these plants were grafted onto different rootstock. That did not work out well for me. Yeah, and this is really scrawny here. I'm getting some tomatoes on them, but I'm not going to get any real big ones like I was hoping for. And over here we have Big Beef. Big Beef is a, a really good tomato. I grow this one in the greenhouse during the winter. And it's, it's a meatier tomato. It's, it's juicy enough, but it's not mealy. It's got good texture, really good flavor. And I really like that one. That one I grow quite a bit of. And then this one here is a Chadwick cherry. 
And these are a little bit big for what I consider cherry tomatoes to be, but not too bad. So that's a really good. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, texture isn't quite what I would prefer, but it's still good. So anyway, the main purpose of this was to show you the red mulch that I put on the ground for them. Um, didn't have any problems with water. The weather here has been pretty good for us in Wisconsin overall. Had a few hot days that kind of set the tomato fruiting back. Tomato plants love it, but the above 85 degrees the flowers usually don't pollinate right so had a little skip in the production there and uh, so I haven't had to really give it any supplemental water I also put a strip over here just to try it Some pepper plants and uh, a long type of a pepper Got these from some outfit in China. Advice, be careful buying seeds from China. Now these will be okay, I guess, but uh, it's supposed to have about three or four different varieties. Red bell, green bell, a yellow bell, and then a long one. Every packet they sent me so far, it's just been this long one here ones. is a, started out as a jalapeno. And a few years ago, I had a couple of peppers cross. Now this, uh, so far, these are going to turn red. I'm, I'm waiting for them to turn red. I like them red better than green. And um, the seeds and I will be really pretty hot, but the flesh I, I notice is milder. So maybe I should get that and patent it, huh? Zucchini. Planted a zucchini in here because I had the spot. And it really, really likes this. Uh, trouble with zucchinis is if you don't pick them, you get these big lompers. That's how big that son of a gun is. I got three of them on there now, and it stops producing the small ones. Oh, there's one little one started. I'm gonna have to get these big ones off. I just cut them lengthwise and put them in by the chickens. They'll pick the seeds out of them, and they'll pick at them for a while. So that's it for the the red mulch. I'm really happy with it. I'll be using this again for sure. Uh, they say you can reuse this if you take it out carefully and we'll see about that. Uh, it's, it's fairly thin, it's not a real thick mulch, heavy plastic, but as far as I'm concerned it did the job that it was promised. Let me just show you this little side light here. Here's some potatoes, I planted these kind of late these are organic German butterball. I got them at the local Steins. And um, five pounds originally was like $16 or something. And right at the end, they were trying to get rid of stuff, so they're like five bucks for the, the works. So I'll try them. Anyway, they got going good, but look what happened. A couple nights ago, deer came roaming through here. And I find it hard to believe, but the darn thing actually ate a bunch of my. Potato tops off. You wouldn't think they'd eat them. These potatoes are uh, potato tops. I think are supposed to be poisonous. But anyway, see how those come back. So, well, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you subscribe.